Hello everyone and welcome to a Visual Basic 2010 Express tutorial. We're going to get right in and show you what this is about. Basically I'm going to be showing you how to make programs and everything with Visual Basic. First thing you want to do is download Visual Basic off of the default site. So go to Google and type in Visual Basic 2010 Express. Make sure you don't download Visual Studio 2012 or 2010 because that is not the programming language we are using. So you have to head to Visual Studio 2010 Express, Microsoft, then it will bring up all this. You want to go to 2010 Express products, you have to go to download, then head down to 2010 Express. Then you want to download Visual Basic 2010 Express. Then select your language, no matter what you are, then click on install now. That will install Visual um, Basic 2010. Once you have done that, type in Visual or Visual Basic on the search bar and you'll have your program. Alright, now that we've loaded our program, you'll get a lovely start menu like this. What we're going to do is make a new project set called Hello World. So we're going to make a basic message box. When you put your button, it says Hello World when you make it. What you want to do is make sure you use a Windows Form application because we will be using them a lot. Now, from this you might be a bit confused, but don't have no fear. This is actually really basic. Solution Explorer is your basically your project window where you can access different things. Your main project is there. You have your project configuration, which is my project normally, and your main form, which is here. From here you have the properties window, which has the properties of an item or the form of the um, item of what, everything you can edit. Then below that you have an error list. I have moved a few things around for my own liking so it might be in a different position for you guys. Then you have data sources down here but this is for databases which we will be going into later. Then we have a toolbox of everything we can make. This is a very very good tool. We'll be using that very soon. Then I have the database explorer. You might have to toggle this. Um, we will be making databases later on, but we're not going to make them now. And we also will be making a web browser. Now, first things first, what we want to do is mean resize our form to the appropriate size. I think this is appropriate size, so let's leave it at that. Then, let's head down to the text in the properties and change it to Hello YouTube. YouTube, even. Then, from there, you can see that the text above just changed. Then if you scroll up in the properties, you will get to a name. We want to name this FRM main because this is our main form. Careful not to use capitals in certain places, otherwise the code will not work. Then what you want to do is make a button from the toolbox tab. Go to common controls and grab, drag the button onto the main form. It's a bit small, but what we're going to do is resize it and make it a lot bigger. There we go. Now we want to change the beat button name to BTN Hello because it's what it's supposed to do and that works. Then you want to go to your t the text option and make sure it says Hello exclamation mark. Then we can change the font by going into the font option and making it bold exclamation and changing the size to 36. And now that we have done that, we will load up the code. The code is easy to view. You can right click on an item and view the code or just double click. From double clicking, go to private sub and your end sub. Private subs are for buttons or items or forms. This is the public class for FRM main because FRM main is right here. What we're going to do is rename our form as well. Make sure you don't get rid of the dot VB otherwise you're screwed. So we're going to name it, rename it FRM hello world. Alright, now that we've renamed it, everything changes. Now, from here, we're going to go into the BTN Hello private sub and write our first code. If you type in a letter or anything, you will come up with lots of options. Please, don't worry. This is really basic. If you type in message, because that's what we're making, it will come up with options and message box buttons and everything. We just want the basic message box. Then you want to put a dot show after it. Now if you press enter at this point it will get a blue line and error. What you want to do is click inside of the brackets, put two smooch sparks inside. Now notice the error has gone, but we want it to say hello world. So you want to put between the speech marks, hello world. 
Now, we have done our first line of code and we can run our program and say if it works or not. To run the program, it's pretty simple. You can just start debugging by pressing F5 or by clicking on this icon. Once you've started debugging, your program will appear. It may take a time to load depending on your operating system and how good your computer is. Now, you want to press the button and your message bot shall appear. If it doesn't, please look back in the video, you've probably done something wrong. Now, we're going to quickly explore the project options and see what you can actually do. From this project tab, you can change your application type, start up form, the icon, and lots of things. You can also change the shutdown mode and everything like that. From then you have lots of different options on the side. The main ones we'll be using is application resources and publish, and that's about it. Resources are very interesting. You can add images and everything which we'll be using later. Image code is pretty basic. We were making a flashing image and everything else later on. I won't go into too much detail now. Compiling is also very useful to depend where you want your build output to go when you make the program. So now we have made our first program and we're going to save it by pressing Control, um, control Shift S or by pressing this button here. Then you want to name it Hello World and then press Save. We have now made our first program. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment and subscribe. Say next time what I should make or show you how the guys how to make. Now, next time we should hopefully be looking at how to make images or text boxes and labels edit. Now, until then, I'll see you next time.